Soil conservation. Soil. What is soil? It is the uppermost layer of the earth. It is a layer of sand, organic matter and minerals on the earth's surface with some amount of water and air. It is a valuable natural resource. Plants grow in the soil. Some animals like some insects and earthworms live in the soil. Importance of Soil Soil is an important natural resource. Soil helps in the growth of plants by holding the roots and supplying water and nutrients. Soil is essential for agriculture which provides us food, clothing and shelter. Soil is a habitat for several organisms like ants, earthworms, snails, centipedes, millipedes, snakes, rats, beetles, etc. Structure of Soil Bedrock Bedrock is formed of large pieces of rocks deep inside the earth. Soil formation begins from bedrock. The bedrock slowly changes into subsoil. This layer is made up of smaller bits of rocks. The topmost layer of soil is topsoil. It is made up of fine particles of sand and clay mixed with humus. Humus Humus is the dark organic material present on top of the soil. This organic matter mainly consists of dead and decaying animals, substances, dried leaves, twigs, grasses, vegetables, microbes and other nutrients. Humus is naturally obtained soil which can be easily produced through a process called composting. Formation of soil. Soil is formed when rocks break into tiny pieces due to the heat of the sun, moving wind or running water. The breaking of rocks into tiny particles of soil is called weathering. Soil erosion. The removal of fertile topsoil from a region by wind, rain or river water is called soil erosion. The loss of topmost fertile soil makes the land unfit for farming. Agents of erosion The factors that are responsible for soil erosion are called agents of erosion. The main agents are running water, wind, human beings. Deforestation overgrazing. Plants act as soil binders because the roots of plants and trees that grow in the soil bind the particles of topsoil together. The advantage is that the wind and water are not able to carry away the topsoil easily and this helps in preventing soil erosion. Running water. Running water causes the maximum soil erosion. As it removes the topsoil of all the fields near the river bank and carries it away. This type of erosion is greater in hilly areas as water flows rapidly and carries soil with it and slows down in plains and soil get deposited there. Wind Wind erosion is the loss of topsoil by the movement of wind. It occurs in open lands dry climates where the soil is loose, newly plowed fields and land where vegetation is overgrazed. Strong winds blows away the topsoil and causes soil erosion. Human beings. Many human activities cause soil erosion. Some of them are number one deforestation. Cutting down trees on a large scale is called deforestation. When trees are cut down, the topsoil becomes loose and is easily carried away by strong wind or running water. Number 2. Overgrazing When animals like cattle, sheep and goats graze on the same area of land over and over again, they eat most of the green grass and other plants and the land becomes bare. As a result, 
the soil becomes loose and is easily carried away by strong wind or running water. Conservation of soil. Prevention of soil erosion is called conservation of soil. Methods of soil conservation are afforestation, growing plants, avoid overgrazing, construction of embankments, and step farming. Afforestation. Growing trees on large scale is called afforestation. Growing plants. To grow grass or some other plants to bind the soil particles together when the land is not being used for farming. Avoid overgrazing. Not allowing animals to graze on the same area continuously for a long time. Construction of embankments. Embankments of rocks and stones constructed on both sides of a river or stream which help to prevent flooding of water in the adjoining fields and check soil erosion. Step farming. Farming is done by cutting steps in slopes. This is terrace farming or step farming. These steps lessen the speed of water as it flows down and reduces soil erosion. Also soil eroded from one step is deposited on the next step. This reduces the loss of fertile topsoil.